And hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to explore a topic that might seem counterintuitive at first, but bear with me as I explain the dark side of activism. We've all seen it before, peaceful protests, movements for social justice, and online communities coming together to make a difference. But what happens when individuals with malicious intentions infiltrate these groups? This is exactly what we're going to discuss today. How sociopaths hijack non-violent activist groups like Anonymous and turn them into their own twisted ideologies. Psychology of Manipulation Sociopaths are master manipulators who understand the psychology of groups and individuals. They know how to gain trust, create a sense of belonging, and eventually introduce their own ideology, one that's often distorted from the original values of the movement. This manipulation can start at any level, whether it's through online forums, social media, or even in-person interactions. And once they've gained the trust of key individuals within the group, it becomes much easier for them to spread their influence and control the narrative. Lack of empathy and charismatic leadership. Sociopaths often lack empathy, making it difficult for them to understand the harm caused by their actions. But what's even more concerning is their ability to present themselves as charismatic leaders, people who can command attention, create a sense of authority, and draw followers into their ideology. This charisma can be especially effective when targeting groups with limited resources or less effective communication strategies. By leveraging these feelings, sociopaths can create a sense of urgency and importance around their ideology, making it difficult for others to see the harm being done. Extremist ideologies frequently prey on people's fears, anxieties, or emotional vulnerabilities. By leveraging these feelings, sociopaths can create a sense of drama, creating an illusion that their cause is more important than it actually is. This exploitation can take many forms, from spreading misinformation to using propaganda techniques to further their goals. Once they created this false narrative, it becomes much easier for them to manipulate public opinion and sway key decision makers into doing their bidding. But what's the ultimate goal of these sociopaths? For some, it's all about personal power gaining control over others, manipulating events to suit their own agenda. For others, it's about financial gain using their influence to accumulate wealth, resources, or other forms of support. In either case, the consequences are dire. Corrupting a peaceful movement can lead to harm, suffering, and even violence for those who get caught up in the ideology. And once that happens, it becomes much harder to distinguish fact from fiction, leading to further manipulation and chaos. What's the takeaway from this? When we're involved in non-violent activism, we need to be aware of these sociopathic tendencies, how they can infiltrate our movements, distort our values, and manipulate public opinion. We need to be careful not to let fear, anxiety, or emotional vulnerabilities cloud our judgment. 
we also need to recognize the signs of manipulation. When someone is using charismatic leadership to sway others, when emotions are being exploited to further an agenda, when facts are being distorted to create a false narrative, when we need to take action, but aren't reporting suspicious behavior, speaking out against extremist ideologies, or simply being more mindful of our own actions and motivations. By doing so, we can prevent these sociopaths from hijacking peaceful movements and turning them into their own twisted ideologies. This has been your host, Tuxedo Mask. Thank you for watching Anons, and I'll see you in the next video.